Of course, February is Children's Dental Health Month. It's something that the Kansas Dental Association has participated in for a number of years. Now, what we have always done is uh, had a coloring contest for third graders. Uh, the winner of those contests in each district would then receive a, a gift card. The idea was that they would go out and, and purchase a bike with that. We haven't had a, a great deal of success over the years. The participation uh, rate in that has gone down. And so we are looking to encourage uh, teachers to get more involved in Children's Dental Health Month, to incorporate the Children's Dental Health Month curriculum or health curriculum into their uh, teaching during the month of February. So we're, gonna, we're still going to have a third grade coloring competition, um, but the, the, the winning teacher or the, the, the teacher of the winning student will also get a gift card as an encouragement, as an incentive, and as a reward uh, for their student uh, who wins that uh, competition among the districts. We're also doing a statewide competition uh, in which uh, classrooms can develop their own oral health education projects. Maybe it's going to be a video, maybe it's a poster, some kind of a graphic that encourages uh, Children's Dental Health Month and, and shows the importance of uh, good oral health, particularly for kids. Um, those will be judged here at the Kansas Dental Association. The teacher of that uh, classroom will receive a $500 gift card uh, as, a, as a reward for that uh, competition. So we encourage you to not only uh, share the importance of Children's Dental Health Month with your patients. We have PSAs. We have edu other educational materials on our website. We encourage you to share those uh, with your patients uh, through social media or print them off and hand them uh, out to your patients there in your practice. But also, if you do have third graders, ask them if they are uh, participating in uh, Children's Dental Health Month at their school.